Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes and uh, today is a little quick video showing you how to turn your iPhone into a personal Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, keep in mind this works only on iPhone 4 and 5 and you have to have the latest iOS 6 to uh, share that connection through Wi-Fi. Um, if you have an older iPhone like the iPhone 3, 3GS um, and you also have um, iOS 5 or a, a, an older version you can still share your connection but it will be through uh, Bluetooth or a connected uh, just connect your iPhone to the USB port of your computer. Uh, with iPhone 4 and 5 users with iOS 6 well um, just go into your settings make sure your Wi-Fi is on that's the first thing because most of your connections with your devices will be through Wi-Fi if you want to share your connection through Bluetooth well make sure you turn on your Bluetooth also so that your devices can connect through Bluetooth so this gives you all the possibilities and then you click on personal hotspot you turn it on and you make sure that your Wi-Fi password, you see the Wi-Fi password, that's the Wi-Fi password of my phone. This, you need to take note of it, or if you want, you can go in here and change that Wi-Fi password. You can click on it and just change the Wi-Fi password if you want. So keep in mind that uh, whatever you do uh, to have your personal wi uh, spot on, you um, have your password right there that you'll need to uh, check. So that's as easy as that. Once you are uh, set up, what's going to happen is that your um, iPhone becomes first basically a Wi-Fi router, and so uh, it will have its own name. Uh, the name will depend on the name you have in your iPhone. So, for example, if I go into my uh, personal hotspot my iPhone has the name uh, Jill. it's my personal name so what happens is that when I click on to the personal Wi-Fi it's gonna say hey look for iPhone from Jill," and it says now discoverable it means that if you use a computer an iPad or any Wi-Fi device you should see your own iPhone show up here one word of caution, I've noticed that on uh, the iPhone 5, and it might be true for the iPhone 4, it sometimes takes up to 30 seconds to a minute before that Wi-Fi hotspot is actually shown on any devices. So if you don't see it right away, wait a few seconds and uh, try again, refresh the uh, Wi-Fi from your devices to uh, see if it's there. And once it's there, you'll click and it's going to ask you for the password. The password is the one that you put in your phone. Uh, you see this password here, but um, I, I will change it, of course, after this video. Um, so basically, that's the thing, is that your Wi-Fi hotspot becomes um, available from your phone. So any devices you have becomes basically a nice little device that you share on your um, computer, your internet shared to your computer, your um, iPad, and any basically any Wi-Fi devices will work with this, and uh, you'll be able to share internet. One thing you got to make sure though is that um, when your Wi-Fi is um, your your iPhone is in the Wi-Fi mode, make sure that you take care of the data because um, using, for example, a laptop computer uh, generates more data than using your iPhone's internal apps when you're on the web. So, for example, Safari in your iPhone takes much less data than using, let's say, Safari on your Mac or Firefox or Chrome or Internet Explorer on a PC. So you got to be careful with that because it's easy to go overboard and it's going to cost you a lot. And um, when you're finished, you can actually turn off the Wi-Fi hotspot. So you just go into hotspot, turn it off, and uh, 
turn off whatever device you don't want to have. I personally don't share with Bluetooth. Um, I share only with Wi-Fi. And basically, the first time it asks you that, uh, when you're in the uh, personal hotspot, it's going to ask you um, a few ways here. Uh, you can connect through Wi-Fi, through Bluetooth and USB, so you got to be sure that whatever you uh, put uh, in option or, or the option you want to choose is turned on on your phone. So the basic setting is at least um, Wi-Fi on with personal hotspot on. And uh, if you want to share, for example, with your iPad, Bluetooth works very well. You can uh, turn on Bluetooth and it's going to share through Bluetooth also. So hope this helps in understanding how to set your phone in a personal hotspot. And um, what I usually do is when I don't need my phone to be a personal hotspot, I turn off all the options, uh, even Wi-Fi sometimes because I um, just stay on my LTE um, internet on my uh, data plan. Uh, because by turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and your personal hotspot, um, it will save battery. So if you don't need that option, turn all of that off. Uh, it will really, really make your battery last longer on your iPhone. So hope you enjoyed this uh, little video showing you how to uh, use your iPhone in a personal hotspot. And um, basically, this is the way to go to um, set your iPhone in a personal hotspot that all your devices will use. So thanks for watching and uh, hope you come back to the easy computer fixes. Bye bye.